guys welcome to my channel my name is Kayla welcome back if you're one of my returning subscribers thanks so much for watching my video today I really appreciate it today I'm just gonna be doing a simple little get ready with me video I'm getting ready to go out with some friends tonight to this top golf thingy mabob and I've never been there before but I've passed by it it just I don't know it looks fun I've never been a golfer um, mini golf, you know, I'm okay, but this is not like golf golf. It's like you're just hitting balls. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, but um, it's for one of my friend's birthdays, so I'm excited. I got my hot cocoa here that I've been drinking out of my California Adventure cup, mug, whatever. So keep watching to find out how I get this rose gold kind of smoky look that I have going on here. I had a lot of fun today filming this. Way too much fun. I am totally hopped up on my hot cocoa or hocho as Miss Lorelai Gilmore likes to say. But yeah, <laughs> let me just get on with the video. Okay, so my face is already prepped, primed. It's got my foundation. I already put on my concealer. I already did my brows. I'm going to go ahead and use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette today. I'm going to use a golden ochre, which is this color right here, and use that all over the lid. Oof, there's so much fallout. And I'm using a brush that I got from Lancome a long time ago. My grandma actually gave me um, tons of sets from Lancome that she received, like, you know, the gift with purchase kind of stuff. But I really like these brushes. There's no number or word on it. It's just kind of like a flat-ish brush. It gets fluffy, but I really like this for um, putting on my transition shade. So I'm going to take Warm Taupe, this, this one right here, and put that on the outer crease. So I want a little bit of smokiness to it today. And I'm going to take my M Cosmetics All Over Shadow Brush and I'm going to get some Primavera and pack that all over the lid. So this weekend, our fence decided to fall down. Awesome. Um, yeah, so that's been getting worked on throughout the day today. Really sucks because we can't leave our dog out. Otherwise, he'll wander off into the neighbor's backyard and we can't have that. <laughs> oh, I'm going into my Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. I'm just gonna take Summer Young, so this shade down here, and then I'm also gonna put that on the outer corner. I really like this color combination. I think they complement each other a lot. I'm going to take the color Venetian Red, so this color right here, and then I'm going to put that on top of the Primavera Gold color. And 
And I'm going to go back over that with Primavera a little bit more. You get a little bit more gold. Because I don't want too bright of a color. I'm going to take a little bit of the Cypress Umber right here and then put that a little bit over the outer corner. I'm going to go back with a little bit more of that summer yam and then put it on the lower lash line. Now I'm gonna take some more warm taupe from Modern Renaissance and then blend that over summer yam. And a little bit of the cypress umber, just a teeny little bit to blend that together. And then a touch of the primavera on the lower lash line. Now I'm going to use my MAC Nylon and highlight the inner corner of my eyes and underneath the brow bone. You know, I've been trying so many different other things for highlighting the inner corners and, and you know, under the brow bone and whatnot, but honestly, nothing compares to Nylon. Nothing. And the Morphe 350 palette, there's... A really good highlighting color but I would say that is like my second favorite but nylon is definitely it just nothing compares I mean it's so pigmented it's so brightening there's definitely a touch of shimmer to it and I like that and if you're in the right lighting it can reflect off of that the light can reflect off of the the shimmer of the highlight and it just, I feel like it's more enchanting. <laughs> so that was another one of my little long comb brushes that I like to use. Kind of like a pencil brush kind of style. But it's, it's very flimsy. It's not stiff too much. I mean, it's perfect for getting the inner corner. And then my MAC 266 SE. So this I got... And it was a, a holiday collection for 2015. I really like this angled brush. If you've seen my other videos, you know I like to use this one for highlighting under my brow bone. Ugh, I hate it. I hate it when I get something in my eye. I'm pretty sure it's shadow. Oh! Flush out! Flush out! Get out the eye! I don't want to mess up the makeup. For eyeliner today, I'm gonna try out the Morphe Gel Eyeliner. I'm so excited! My husband and I, we recently took a trip down to Disneyland and I convinced him to stop at their store down in Burbank and I went crazy in there, oh my gosh. I'm gonna do a whole other video on all the stuff that I got because yeah, I, I spent a lot of money, like way more than I'd like to admit. Um, but yeah, I really am excited to try this because my Sigma gel eyeliner that I have been using ever since I got it back in September, it's gotten so dry and it sucks it like gets crumbly 
and I really have to like work at it to smooth it out. It's just so annoying. So I don't know if that's just how all gel eyeliners are or if it's just that one. I don't know. And I try to keep it covered and you know still tight so air doesn't get in when I'm not using it, but it is what it is, you know. So, anyways, this is in the shade Slate. Woof. See, that's brand new. Brand, brand new. <gasps> the reveal. <laughs> I am going to take my Sigma Winged Eyeliner Brush E06, the little fine tip. I'm going to use that to carve out my wing. It's just, it's so clean and perfect and pretty and... <gasps> oh. Ooh, so creamy! Damn! <sighs> I forgot how good a new eyeliner can be. Okay, is anyone else as obsessed with Katy Perry as I am? And especially her new song? So comfortable we can run and bubble bubble So comfortable we can not see the trouble trouble Not a little I'm totally messing with you. Oh my gosh, I am not depriving myself of getting a new eyeliner for that long ever again. Holy cow, what a difference. Whew. Now that I'm done with my wings, I'm going to use the Lancome Hypnos Drama Mascara. I really like this mascara. It's got a great wand. The formula is amazing. Um, it doesn't irritate my eyes at all. And I like that it really separates and lengthens my lashes. Now I'm going to use my NYX No Filter Powder and set that all over. And I have some Bella Pierre Banana Setting Powder underneath my eyes. So I'm just gonna slip that away. And I'm going to use my Physician Formula Butter Bronzer and add that sun-kissed glue. Oh, and then I'm also using my Crown Brush brush, the one that's like ergonomic, whatever. Got the little indents where you can put your fingers. It really comes in handy. <laughs> totally pun intended. See those little baby hairs? I've had those forever. This might be too light for me. Next, I'm going in with my Jaclyn Hill Becca palette. And I'm going to take my Bare Essentials blush brush. So I'm going to take some Amaretto and then Pamplemousse and... Blend those together. So I'm going to use my Coastal Scents brush right here. There's no number on it. There's no name for it. It's just an angled brush. I like using this for my highlight. I'm going to take some champagne pop and brush that across. I really feel like no camera 
does this highlight justice. It's such a gorgeous highlight. I've been trying, you know, different kinds and I just, I love this way more than anything I've tried. I, I do like the Laura Geller one, the Swirl, Gelato Swirl, I think it's called. I was thinking about doing falsies today, but I just kind of don't want to deal with that tonight. Um, I don't want to have to like stress out over it. I'm going to take my Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lip in my favorite shade, Patina. Ooh, 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 ooh. Sip of Pocho before I do that. love this shade so much this formula from Stila it lasts all day seriously even after eating I've noticed I really don't need to touch it up now I'm going to set everything with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray girl's best friend I swear and I swear That completes today's video. Thank you guys for hanging out with me and getting ready with me today. I can't wait to go see my friends tonight and check out this top golf thing, whatever, thingamabob, thingamab, whatever. So I hope you guys like this video today. I hope you subscribe if you haven't done so already. Please do that. I would love you forever and a day. And stay tuned for the next videos that I have coming out. Um, I've got a lot of things in the works. So yeah, I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day and night wherever you are. I'll catch you later. Mwah. Bye. Now I'm going to take my... Oh, it's so teeny. The inner corner of my eye and then under my brow bone. <laughs> And I'm going to take the color, ah, I just totally dug my nail into Charmed, I'm sure. Crap. <sighs> hey, typical camera, we done you to get ready. I'm done. I'm waiting for your ass to get out of my room. Scoot. Don't forget Leave the, the dog. Rope.